back to Ilium. Okay. What do I have to do in Ilium? There's a lot. Okay, do that and the transport hub. Ah, the Shadow Broker thing. I forgot to talk to Liara about that. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. No. Can I help you with something? Thank you. Have a pleasant visit to Nos Astra, oh, Commander. I was gonna run. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please return your system to an authorized dealer for a refund or for credit toward the exciting new Coros okay, so brand radiation do... personal How defense you short weapon. Selling? Customer Who's safety that? is important. Liara must be the other squad member I get then, right? Because I don't have. I don't want to show me. Dang it. There's, Listen, there's I know the data is vital to the Perosa family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Lucky I got out at all for mercenaries. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard Dantius. you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? Thanks. The Perosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Well, there's your data. Your I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, your face your is trouble. like a little Blessings off for Solarian. I can't figure out why. Us. It's like the, maybe the bottom half is too wide or something. I don't know. Transportation. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contracts for us. Okay, let's go. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good? Blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Was that just a Krogan like love ballad? I don't know how to feel about that. It was wonderful, but also very awkward. As one would expect. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. <laughs> they are love poems. <laughs> the Krogan's reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, oh. we're on a break. Why? And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. He's it's trying! really bad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... You know they can't breed, Krogans right? live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. Did you talk to him about it, or you just sounds like a question you should ask him? I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry. Don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Well, then doesn't that matter? God, stupidity. Oh, it fucking rains. It's raining. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna talk to the Krogan or get this work. Okay, you know what? Just, he, Hi. Look. 
please try to ignore my non-boyfriend's non-poetry. Can I help you? Here's the problem. He wants to have kids with you. He wants to be serious. And he said, he didn't say literally anything about, like, the fact that he's gonna be upset if they, because they weren't gonna be Krogan. He was still gonna love them. That That's what matters. Here and now. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? I he's a know. fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Here's the thing. You love him, so you make it work. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, if you love him, you can pretty much make almost anything work except, like, you know, like the big bads, like abuse, adultery, stuff like that. But otherwise, you can pretty much make it work. So just deal look with at it. him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... Then you are. If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't. And you've already decided. I... I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. I actually was gonna get that discount. It's kinda nice, but at the same time, you're being stupid! <laughs> Lord. There's somebody that loves you, and you're gonna just be all stupid about it? Oh. Buy some things. Buy some things. I'm gonna buy some fish. I'm gonna buy a knife. I'm gonna buy a shovel. Why not? I don't buy anything. Because why not? Because why not? What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Mm. Duff. Why not? Okay. Every Asari has. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish. Oh, Maybe a shirt. Or a car. Helium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? Asari skin color and the Doppler effect? I feel Dad, like you're trying really hard. Anything. Or don't. I need to get her something. A memento. Oh. Wait, what am I going? It's just we're looking for weapons. What was I doing before that? <laughs> Forgot. Right, transport hub. Dara. Shouldn't you be taking transport this seriously? Hub. Where am I? This should be the transport hub. So I just gotta find Dara. Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. Dang. I charge for 50 hours, plus overtime. Oh, okay. Um... Let's see. Uh-oh. That one? Yeah. Ah, it's just a sea of colors. Oh no, I'm not. There it is. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Welcome to Baria oh, Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Oh, there it is. Hey. You buy Star Trek? <laughs> Alright, well, I bought all of them. You're welcome. Shiala. 
Sartar. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? <laughs> Relax. No, I just need to speak maybe. with her. Maybe. <laughs> Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Thanks. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asara space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Okay, cool. Gears for life. Where do you think you're going? I'm thinking sorry. I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Not every sorry. Oh, what on earth? All right, well, not going over there. That's, that's not happening. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Where's the Justicar? Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with Seriously? her if you want to go there. Rick. I should go. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. <laughs> what can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. Actually, no. I've enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. Wait, what? You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Cool. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Peace. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Oh, we will. I think the detective's gonna push it off as long as she can, too. I don't trust that Bolas. There's something about him. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Samara! Samara! Get the rest of Bravo Squad prepped! Alpha Squad went <laughs> Shoot 
Those were my best troops. Tell Annie. me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. <laughs> Okay, I like her. <laughs> what was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Hi. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Cove. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well armed people before me. Are we friend? Or foe. Definitely I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. We can help. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Hey, let's make I'll a deal. I'll the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Go talk to Liara. Do you have Why any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I could just go talk to Liara and save well, myself a whole bunch of I've time. I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. We can't make it that easy, but at the same freaking time, you can make it that easy. Let me back here. Where should we go? Is that him? Can you move on me? How dare you move? Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Mm -hmm. Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. I was gonna hit the button. <laughs> the Eclipse are hunting you. You wanna stay alive, I'm your best chance. Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. Okay. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. Of course. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. I need to get into the Merc base. You're gonna help me. <laughs> I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. You're gonna give me that. Give me that. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. That's nice. I'd be concerned, except I'm not. You should be able to get into the Merc base now. It's the elevator back that way, to your right. Okay, well. Then we killed them. Oh! 
I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Oops, that was actually an accident. Screw that, bitch! Harsh. Um, I wasn't gonna do that actually, but all right, did it. That happened. I'll take it.
like a shipping manifest. It shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of Red Sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. 
We gotta keep moving. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. Okay, yeah, you're high. I know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will <laughs> like sweep all before me like a... A great wind. <laughs> a great biotic wind. What are you on, dude? Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. Then you're really high. Yeah. They may laugh when I fall over. But they don't Acid? know what I no. know in my Acid head. Acid scared. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me. Meth? <laughs> Just keep Good luck with you. Everything. Good luck. Wait, Earth Clan. You're just in time to witness my crowning Step achievement. Out. The leader of the mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Rasea about like a rag doll. Oh, no. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his boot laces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. You are my really biotics high. are unstoppable. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step of my escape. Go sleep. But great wind. Biotic god. I'm I What was I saying? I'm Tired. You're gonna go take a nap. You may be right. Yes, I'm tired. <laughs> I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Yeah, definitely later, buddy. <laughs> so much for God. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. I didn't mean to do that, but all right. Go for the oh. bad. Go for the oh. on the Demeter. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? I just head back. We've got so much junk. Let's give her the name and keep moving. We have so much stuff. They don't care about credits. Like, we're set. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to sneeze into the mic. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. 
You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. Cool. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I hate to tell you, my morals are gray. You might not want to follow my morals. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Depends. You'll be a great asset to our mission. I'm excited to have you along. I am glad to hear it. I will fight by your side, kill your enemies, and protect your friends. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. <laughs> Happy to help, detective. You don't have an easy job down here. Tell me about it. Still, you and Samara take bigger risks than I'll ever have to. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Hmm. Take this. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. So I think we just gotta talk. <laughs> I think we just gotta do the servers and then talk to Liara, and I think that's it. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours. That is high praise, indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're gonna find when we hit the Collectors. I will be sure. prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Short and sweet, Jacob. I was expecting more sass. Okay, well. So that's. Oh, bye. There should be one more I have, I think. We'll talk to some more real quick. Mara should be on this one then. Shepard. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. Yeah. If you are patient, I would love to talk. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Ostra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. Okay. You might say it is personal. Uh, I'll respect How it. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. Okay. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, 
You learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Ooh, fair. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Okay. Nothing too... intense there. So what do we have left? We just have to... talk to Thane. Oh, Thane wants to talk to us. <gasps> Ew, Thane! Shepard. What's up? Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. What's up, Thane? Let's talk about it. I had a family once. I still have a son. Okay. His name is Colgat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Okay. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. If we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life, measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. What is disconnected? You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul okay. is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. Mm. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path you should walk. We'll talk to him. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. We'll, we'll talk to him. I'm not gonna say... If he wants... Uh, if he wants to become a hitman, then he should have that option as well. Well, not your dad. System hacking, and then the shadow broker, and I'm supposed to go to. Let's do with Miranda. I really don't want to take Miranda. I'd, I'd literally rather. Step Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Cool. They are giving me contact information when I'm fitting through the Dante's Towers. Oh, just found Thane. Cool, cool. Uh, I said there's next shot there. It's basically it's incredible. Yeah, he moves like a dancer, grace and power and constant motion. So he can change my life, look something up in me that I don't understand. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but slaying lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much out there. I'm gonna find something that lets me capture what's on him, that beauty, that aesthetic perfection. I'm also gonna buy some nice clothes. Well, I would. <laughs> Go enjoy your life. 